All this work that we're doing, brothers, for this ministry, eventually is going to pay off. You better believe it, man. It's going to pay off like you'll never believe. Okay? And by the way, we're the highest value male on this planet. The men of the Lord. The men of this truth. The hopeful elect of Yahweh Barshim Shai. The highest value male there is. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and name glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace and blessings and salutation to the hopeful leg out there pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And what I want to get into, all right, today, you know, is a quick news and prophecy, you know, because no matter how much, you know, Jake try to make, you know, the truth out to be a soul popper, okay, a uh, 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 nigga gossip. Okay, slander, you know, and all these different side shows, you know, they can go on in this ministry. You know, we're going to always keep, you know, prophecy the main thing. All right, because it's through prophecy that we see the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. All right, the eternal righteous kingdom. Okay, in which the elect, you know, hope for day and night. All right, the, 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 the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay, the true believers of our people. Okay. So we're always going to keep the main thing, the main thing, dealing with prophecy. Now, I, want, I, I was listening to this video earlier, you know, it just made me think of a few things, looking to a few words, you know, so I wanted to get into it. So I'm going to let the video play. All right. And we'll move from there. OK. Um, now, this is Dylan. All right. With Elon Musk. All right. The Neuralink, you know, and, you know, how it's going. All right, the update on it. And ultimately, we're just watching, you know, prophecy speak. Okay, real time. Okay, the, the, the devils are doing exactly, are moving exactly according to the script. All right, which gives us, you know, the, the, the faith. You know, the, all these things should be a faith booster, a faith booster to know that he is. Okay, so let's um, let it play. So what can you show us that as a demonstration yeah. of what you can now do? Here we go. This is uh, the Link app. This is how I control everything. Um, this is the app that they've uploaded um, onto my computer that lets me control the cursor. Um, this is my devotional that I've been reading um, all the time, uh, every day. And then this is me playing chess. Um, so wait a minute. Are... You're moving the cursor? You're moving the cursor, Nolan, just by thinking about where you want it to go? Or is it your eyes? Uh, no, it's it's just me thinking about wherever I want it to go. Oh, man. So yeah, you're not so even tracing it with your eyes. You're just looking at it. Nope, I can move it, and I can move the cursor around, whatever I would like to do. Um, I don't have to be staring at it at all. Uh, I mean, it's, it's amazing. There's not even words to describe. Yeah, there's not even words to describe how amazing this tech is. <clears throat> all right. So as you can see, you know, um, this devil, you know, is tapped in on the left hand side, all right, with his technology. You know, the Lord has given his man access, you know, on the left hand side, you know, through witchcraft. You know, this man's technology is to the level of heavy witchcraft, you know, and what we're seeing happening is that his technology, his idol, okay, because he's made his technology an idol, is able to speak. You know, it's able to move, it's able to, you know, learn. Okay? And these are the miracles spoken of that this devil will be allowed to do, you know, within this beast system, which we're going to get into it. Now, this is um Second Ezra 15 and 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Okay, they are faithful and true. And see, we're seeing these things happen exactly as the scriptures say they will happen, man. You know, when you're being, when 
uh, when you're applying the proper breakdowns, okay, because we see, you know, Jake is just a madhouse <laughs> with breakdowns in 2024, okay? This has been a year, all right, of, of terrible breakdowns, man, by these false camps, all right? But at the end of the day, you know, we're commanded to speak the words of prophecy, okay, to our people. You know, we're, 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 that's one of the main things as Apostle Paul says, what, covet to prophesy, okay? Because this is leading us into the eternal righteous kingdom. Everything we want, okay, is within prophecy, man, okay? The, the, the right here and now, you see, these things are soon to pass. You know, these things are temporal, okay? So as we look forward to prophecy, all right, we're seeing the, the, the crumbling of this beast system, okay? And the ushering in of the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Okay. So. Let's go here. What I want to do. Um, let's go to Revelation 13. Okay. And I want to. You know. Read in two. Alright. The main prophecy. You know. But just to show. You know. That. This beast system. That runs the earth. Okay. Hey. Uh, John the Revelator. He's seen. Alright. This beast. Okay. Come into power. Okay. Now, what I want to start is at verse 3, Revelation 13 and 3. And it says, And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. Okay, and we'll say we're going to read down, you know, and just lightly break these things down as we read. You know, there's in depth, you know, breakdowns to this chapter that um, several brothers have done. Okay, so if you want to, you know, go get the thorough breakdown. All right. Um, you know, there's plenty of videos done, you know, just type in GMS Revelation 13 chapter, you know, so we're going to lightly, you know, break these things down, reading it to the point. Okay. It's Revelation 13 and 3 says, and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. Okay. And that head, all right, represented the Roman Empire, you know, which was an Edomite, you know, um, empire, you know, in the earth, you know, going back to that pagan Roman Empire. Okay, and you're going back to the era of Julius Caesar, you know, Augustus, you know, all the way up, you know, to Tiberius, the Flavian dynasty. Okay, in that era, okay, before, you know, they will fall, okay, um, unto Jake, you know, Jake will pretty much, you know, come up in the ranks and pretty much, you know, overthrow, okay, uh, these devils, you know, and what you have, the Roman uh, the Holy Roman Empire, all right, or the Byzantine Empire, which, you know, the scriptures speak about, <clears throat> you know, that thousand years of this devil being, you know, uh, a chain, you know, sealed off, okay, but he was able to come back and rebuild, okay, a new Rome, <laughs> okay, and which is this beast system of today, all right, with America, NATO, you know, and EU, in the EU. Okay, so he was healed during the Renaissance period. He began the healing process coming back into power. Okay, and this is what you know it has turned into today. Okay, was America, NATO, and the EU. Okay, you go back to the Treaty of Rome. Okay, pretty much you had these nations, you know, a few European nations. All right. Making alliance, you know, economic agreements, you know, with America. Begin to form NATO, you know, for a military, you know, branch. Okay. And this was this beast, you know, becoming fully healed, you know, and, and dominating the earth, man. Okay. And it says, and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. Yeah, because when this devil... You know, was able to, you know, um, come into power. All right. The scriptures speak about him coming in power, you know, through deception. You know, he was given power to go forth in the four quarters of the earth and deceive. Okay. And this man has pretty much, you know, has everyone marveling. All right. After his society, man. You know, and this is why, you know, Yahweh Shai. You know, he spoke about us, you know, Yahweh Shai and the apostles, you know, that's why they were heavily 
spoke about us controlling the flesh, you know, having power over the flesh because in this society, he has made it very convenient, you know, to pleasure the flesh, okay? Through this technology, okay? Through um, um, different inventions and, you know, just this whole infrastructure is based on convenience of sinning, okay? Which is extremely pleasing to the flesh, <laughs> okay? So he has the world wandering after him, man. His money system, you know, it's a false money system, but it's, you know, uh, going back to how this money is a, um, what brothers call it, a talisman. You know, this money itself is an enchantment, you know, because it's an illusion of power. Okay, he has, he pretty much owns, you know, and controls the, the true resources, which is the true wealth. And he gives, he, he allows everyone else to trade in, 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 in um, these notes, these debt notes called money, okay, or FRN, Federal Reserve notes, okay, and people, you know, are enchanted by, by this because of the illusion of power that comes, you know, with this money, you know, so this devil has created a, a big, this society is one big enchantment that people are marveling after, man, <laughs> okay, and this happened when his deadly wound, you know, he failed his pagan role, okay? He was pushed out of power, you know? He was, he was not allowed to have any influence in the earth, okay? And then Edom, you know, was beginning to come back into power during the Renaissance period, leading up until this time that we see today, okay? <laughs> so as we see, you know, this head healed, this is what it leads to. Verse 4 says, And they worshiped the dragon which gave power unto the beast, and they worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast who is able to make war with him? And uh, the masses of the earth worship this beast system. They worship democracy. Even though these nations, you know, hate America, all right, they still, okay, worship, you know, um, certain aspects of this man's kingdom. Of this man's rulership, they worship democracy. Okay, they worship, you know, central banking. They worship, you know, because a lot, all these nations are down with digital, going digital. All right, they worship the convenience uh, in his man's technology, man. Okay, down to the average citizen. Okay, people are in awe at this man's technology, man. Okay, so what we're seeing is the is the world. All right, wondering after the beast, man, marveling at the beast and what it has brought forth in the earth, man. Okay, verse five and saying there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemy and power was given unto him to continue. All right, 40 and two months. Okay, and you read this in the um, NLT it says then the beast was allowed to speak great blasphemies against the most high and we see today you know especially through christianity you know just you know the, the, the um perverseness that this man has been allowed you know to push and associate with the bible okay he's been able to associate paganism with the bible okay these holidays that that, that, that associate with the bible goes into paganism uh christmas easter okay even the Sunday service itself, okay, is all linked to paganism. Okay, the 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 uh, the stained glass, you know, the the the, the, the infrastructure of churches go back to the, the ancient groves of pagan worship. Okay, <laughs> and you keep reading. It says and he was given authority to do whatever he wanted, uh, f for forty two months. Okay, and, and uh, you go into it, all right, there's, um, um, you go into it prophetically, all right, it breaks down to those 350 years, man, okay, when this devil, you know, was able to start rounding up the southern kingdom, because he was already, you know, um, uh, conquering, all right, the northern tribes, you know, beginning with the Spanish, you know, those conquistadors, Okay, giving the uh, order, okay, by um, King Ferdinand of Castile 
Queen Isabella. Okay, that's where you get these, you know, these conquests, you know, these Spanish conquistadors, you know, and even then they was spreading, all right, the, 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 the false Christianity, man. Okay, you look into the Spanish Inquisition, you know, to pretty much you was tortured <laughs> into accepting, you know, that false Christianity, you know, and they brought those tactics, you know, it happened in Spain, okay. But then they, they started bringing them tactics over here to uh, to the Americas, man. You know, that they were doing in Spain and Portugal. Okay? And this is when this devil, you know, pretty much, all right, was given authority. You know, you go back to 16, 19. I say when he started to bring, you know, the southern kingdom over to the Americas into slavery. All right? From that time until the time that the Lord, you know, put the spirit all right, on Elder Bivens, I mean, on your know, Elder Albert Bivens, all right, to um go into Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's when a spiritual resistance started being set up against this devil. All right, and their resistance has gotten so strong to the point, you know, this man is changing laws, you know, to try to stop this word from going out. Okay, so he, 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 he's, he's, um, facing resistance for a while he was able to operate you know those 350 years he was able to operate with no resistance man <laughs> okay but now hey the, the lord raised up the prophets as a resistance you know let's prove that real quick all right second corinthians um 10 all right and um and four it says for the weapons of our warfare not carnal, but mighty through the most side to the pulling down of strongholds. Okay, and this is what all right the Lord has raised his prophets up to do. All right, to, to spiritually break these strongholds or the enchantments and lies. Okay, and it's setting the elect free. Okay, and it's doing damage, all right, to this kingdom of deception, man. <laughs> okay. And the Lord said that this will happen. Matter of fact, let's get this in Revelation just to link it up. Revelation 11. And, um, all right, 11. It says, and after three days and a half, going back to those 350 years, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them. Okay? The Holy Spirit, of Kakwadash. The prophetic spirit, the spirit of understanding. Okay? The spirit of exposing. Okay, and entered into it began to enter into all right that house of David, those prophets, man. Okay. They will begin to chant this place down. It says, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And who's in fear is these elites, because they know what's at stake. They know, all right, the validity of what we're saying. They know, all right, that we're speaking all right truth, man. Okay? They know, all right, that, that we're tapped in. Okay, they know that we didn't just come up with this. We just some disgruntled niggas. They know, all right, that hey, we've tapped back into our power. They know who we are. They know who our power is, man. Okay, and then and, and, and they've thrown unlimited resources to keep us separated from this, man. But they can't undo prophecy, man. Okay, as, as we read earlier, the prophecies are faithful and true. Okay, and it says, and they heard, um, he says, yeah, and it says, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them, we saw them, man, and this is what we had now, you know, the, the men of the Lord are standing on their feet, you know, chanting against this place, all right, and the true prophets of Yahweh Bashim al Shah will not be linked Okay, to this beast system by 501c3. We don't need that. Okay, we just need our daily bread and and uh, and, and Rakak with Dash, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know, and, and, and the Lord gave us, you know, all the resources we needed. Okay, so um, let's go from there. Let's go back to Revelation 13. All right, as we just we're walking it down to the point. You know, but it's hey, good to read into it to see, okay, how we got to this point. Okay. And it says, and, um, 
Revelation 13 and 6. I'll read this in the um, NLT as well. It says, And he spake terrible words of blasphemy against the Most High, slandering his name and his dwelling, that is, those who dwell in heaven. Yeah, because what did this devil do? First of all, he doesn't reverence the true names of Yahweh. All right? The name of the Heavenly Father through his son, okay, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorant called Jesus Christ. Okay, and these devils, they know the name. Okay, well, they, 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 they blaspheme with these false names. Okay, and then these false images, you know, as they have painted themselves as the Most High, as it says, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he, man? So this devil doing this exposed himself to be the wicked. That the Bible speaks of. What other nation has plastered themselves. Okay. As being the most high. The Messiah. The prophets. The angels. Okay. All throughout his school curriculums. The churches. The movies. Okay. And he hasn't did as much. Why? Because the truth is coming out. This word is coming out. There's a resistance to the lies now. Okay. So you keep reading, all right? And it says, and the beast was allowed to wage war against the Most High's holy people and to conquer them, okay? I like saying when he was able to, you know, come over here, you know, under the banner, like I say, the conquistadors, conquer, you know, the Incas, the Aztecs, okay? Which will, you know, go back to these Northern Kingdom tribes. You know, they was going by, you know, these different, you know, um, tribal names. Okay. But they were the, they, the, the tribes. They left the Syrian captivity and came over to the Americas. Okay. And he was able, you know, to wage, you know, war. Okay. And be victorious, man. Okay. Because of prophecy. You know. <laughs> Revelation 13 and 7. All right, and you had very few Edomites, okay, that was taking down a lot of our people, man. When you go into the history, you know, Esau came over here, you know, with that, with that weaponry, with cannons. And Jake had never seen that before, all right? And the weapons that Jake had, they couldn't penetrate Esau's armory, you know? So Jake was looking at these niggas like they immortal. <laughs> and then they had that fire, which they was blessed with that sword, that cannon. You know, they never heard a cannon. They never seen something, you know, that destructive. Okay? And then you go into, and when he was able to round up, you know, the southern kingdom. Okay? Which you had a few skirmishes of our people, you know, resisting the captivity. But overall, we was, hey, we was, we was overwhelmed for the sake of prophecy, man. Okay? So he was, he it was given to him. To make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations, man. Because when he took down the tribes, man, he kept going. Now, he did us, you know, we got it the worst, okay? But eventually, the devil colonized the world, okay? Moab, Elam, okay, Ham, you know, everybody, you know, was subjugated. You know, to this beast system that was coming into power. You know, that deadly wound had been healed. <laughs> okay. And he was allowed to go forth and, and dominate the earth. Okay. And it began with putting us in captivity, man. Because that was his major come up. Having the Lord's people in captivity. Okay. And it says, And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written. In the book of the life of the lamb of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. And this is what we're seeing. Alright. Is that people worship this system. I say even these truthers and you know, the different, you know, alternative news sites, okay, they they they, they complain and they bring out certain points, but they still want this world to continue. That's why they're so big in the prepping and getting gold, because they want, you know, to try to salvage this place, man. They want, they want to try to keep this system going. 
they might have they might be disgruntled about you know the 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 um the unfairness of the elites okay but they still you know love this uh, this this way this western way okay <laughs> and you see our people the majority of our people okay they're giving over to, to, to worship okay the beast and this is why our people are becoming more and more like animals like actual beasts okay when you go into the destructive nature of our people you know that they, they, they are still wondering you know and still enchanted by this beast man they're becoming like actual beasts okay and it says if any man have an ear all right let him hear okay so now is he's going to shift gears okay and see the elect going back just to, um also make the point with Revelation 13 and 8, see the elect, okay, was predestined from the foundation of the world. And see, this is why you see there's a remnant that's making a strong stance against this place, man. Okay, there's a remnant that, 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 that finds this way, all right, uh, uh, distasteful, man. As, they, as the scriptures say, we hate it, not our, we love not our lives unto death, man. Okay, we hate this society and this system, man. You know, and we grow to hate it in this truth. You know, you grow to have a strong dislike because you go into the word hate. It just means that, hey, a strong dislike, man. Okay. And as we mature in this truth and, you know, and we really walk in your house, you know, we begin to hate this place, man. Okay. You have a strong dislike for this society, man. Okay. And those are days of what? Sign cry. Okay, which are going to be exempt. That's going to that's that's getting that spiritual mark, that spiritual stamp. Okay, the thawa. Okay, the fact that you get it. You know, this is um Ezekiel. You know, I pray this you know is making sense. Ezekiel nine and four says, and the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of man. Okay. And that's the elect. Those that are written. Those that are predestined. All right. To get out of here, man. Hey, we sincerely want to see the fall of this B system, man. Okay. That's why we are here for filthy lucre we don't have time for gimmicks we want to get out of here man okay we don't have time to be invested in things that don't matter okay we're here to feed the lord's sheep you have a shy sheep man okay no matter where they come from what background they don't even matter we just here to feed the believers man okay we don't even have to get in depth all right, with, 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 with the, the story of the background of every believer, they believe now. <laughs> okay, that, that, and that's what it is. And they and they truly repented and growing in Yahweh Shai. Okay, so you go into this word. Um, all right, Mark in the Hebrew. Okay, and it's Tawa. And when it says mark of exemption from judgment. Okay. And that's what the elect are going to have. Those that are predestined. Those written in the book of life. Before the foundation. Okay. Of the world. As is spoken of in Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians 1 and 3 says. Blessed be the um, power and father of our Lord. Yahweh Shah of Masiyah, Who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings. In heavenly places in Hamasiach, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Okay? Having predestined us unto the adoption of the children of Yahweh Shah Hamasiach to himself, according to the good pleasure all right, of his will. You know, and it's all according to the Lord's will. His goodness, man. This is why we have nothing to be proud of, man. Okay, the Lord chose us, you know, to wake up in the midst of this madness. 
Okay, repent. All right, be sorrowful. You know, grow in your house shot. Okay, and really, you know, develop a sincere love. You know, for your how about Shimao Shai and for the believers for the body. You know, which is gonna make us blameless in Yahweh Shai. Okay? But all our people that's not written, okay, they're gonna continue to get worse and worse <laughs> in this beast system under these enchantments. They're gonna continue to worship this place, man. And there's nothing that we can do to <laughs> to prevent that. Revelation 13 and 8. And it says, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of the life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All right. If any man have an ear, let him hear. And that's a spiritual ear. He that lead in captivity shall go into captivity. And he that kill her with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints, man. So as we will wake up. You know, in these circumstances, man. Okay. And we start to understand these prophecies. Okay. And really look forward to the coming of Yahweh Shai. You know, this will be our hope and our expectation. Okay. Now. um, I want to go here. Revelation 13 and 11. And it says, And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake like a dragon. And see, this is going into America, man. Okay. Which, you know, this Republican Democratic Party. Okay. These two horns, you know, they, they you know, they're, uh, uh, you know, they're supposed to represent, you know, the power of the people. Okay. As if they're, you know, for the people. They speak as a lamb, you know, a lamb, you know, going to a savior. You know, they speak, you know, softly, but they come in the stead as if they're some type of savior. Okay. But then he says they uh, uh, spake like a dragon. Okay. And we're about to see this man get very draconian with his law system. And then we're, we're just in the beginning phase of him making legislations to where he's going to move with force. Okay. Against those that oppose him, man. Okay, on on a low level, it's, all right. It says that he exercises all the power of the first beast before him. Yeah, because you go into ancient Rome, you know it was a, it was very imperialistic. Okay, and you go into pagan Rome, they would just involve themselves in your in your affairs. Okay, they would just come, you know, demand tribute. Okay, they had a very imperialistic, you know, um, policy of how they rule, and America is the same way. They exercise that same authority that that that, that pagan Rome had, man. It's wrong way or no way. Okay, Rome's influence went way beyond the actual kingdom of, of, of Rome. Just like America's influence goes way beyond the borders, okay, of America, man. Okay, it says and he had and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and caused it the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Because you look at to how uh, the elites, you know, how they pretty much push the image of the beast, you know, that pagan Roman culture where America was the was the was the center of the source of it. Okay, that's why when you go here, it's to show that America was the source, okay, of this um, beast influence in the earth. Okay, it was America that made sin and rebellion, you know, popular in the earth. It was through America, man. Okay, Hollywood, man, the damage is done by Hollywood. This is Revelation 17 and 5, it says, and upon her forehead, We'll start at four. It says, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. And the woman, speaking of America, and decked with gold and precious stones and having pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of the abomination and filthiness of her fornication. Okay. So America, you know, has enjoyed, you know, royal status in the earth. Okay. That's why, you know, uh, uh, America... You know, has his citizens drunk off convenience. 
you know, because one thing about royalty in the ancient world was um, what made royalty different from everyone else was the convenience that the royals would enjoy. Okay, and America, you know, has enjoyed a lot of convenience in the earth due to America's, you know, um, uh, 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 you know, status. Okay, America just been a hey, been dominant in the earth, man. Okay, through war, through economics, okay, through culture, America has dominated the earth. Okay, it has the whole earth in the state of rebellion. And filthiness, man. Okay, it says upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and the and the abominations of the earth. So you go here to mother. Okay. Which is the Greek Matar. Alright, it says the source of something, the motherland. Okay? So America has been the source of Okay, of the elites enchantments throughout the earth. All right, when these nations imitate wickedness, okay, it, it is pretty much based on the, the American culture, the alphabet community, the women's lib, a hot girl, a baddie. All those things come out of America, thug, drill music, and these things are imitated throughout the earth. Okay, well, what do they uh, uh, spring up from America? Okay. Um, let's go here. Uh, Revelation thirteen. All right, and twelve it says, and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and caused the earth and them which uh, dwell therein to worship the first beast, who deadly wound was healed, and he doeth great wonders, so that he make a fire come down from heaven, and on the earth in the sight of men okay and you go into all right nato you know bombing you know things of bosnia okay you know these airstrikes and then you had you know uh hiroshima and nagasaki okay what happened in world war ii you know with the atomic bombs dropping okay you know he entered esau introduced the world to atomic warfare and that's why you have now nuclear warfare. But Esau brought the world into that realm. Okay. Of their powerful weaponry, man. <laughs> Alright. But it was prophesied that this devil would do that. He's doing he's doing everything that the prophecy said he would do, man. Alright. And he deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Okay. And this is what we're seeing happening, man. You know, you look at now, people are worshiping his AI. Hey, when it was when it when 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 people thought their lives was in danger, they worship his solution. They went and got their juice, they worship his solution. Okay? What you see today, people worship this technology, man. Think about um you got this. I was looking at this little challenge on TikTok. It's an AI challenge where you take a picture of yourself. But then on the side, all right, you got somebody doing, you know, uh, some little dumb dance. But the AI pretty much doing the dance. You don't even have to do the dance. The AI do the dance for you. Okay? Because, you know, you know, they had these TikTok challenges. <laughs> they had these TikTok challenges. And, um, <laughs> you know, you see people talk about how Esau was still fitting. You have certain people that can't dance, and, you know. But now, guess what? He has the AI that dance for you. Hey, <laughs> you see? <laughs> and you think people are not going to marvel after these things? Okay? You see, you know, what they were doing with the Neuralink. So you think, you know, Keisha Neal is not going to marvel after these things? You know, they can just scroll through Facebook without touching it, click on things, and, you know. Scroll through, you know. Of course, man, they 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 they, they already worship it now. You let you let uh, uh um social media go down, man. Okay, and before lunchtime, man, it's gonna be an uproar. Okay, 
They don't care about uh, they not uproaring about inflation. Okay? They're not uproaring about you know the the, 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 the the gun violence is on the increase. Okay, tent cities, uh 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 migrants, you know, taking over the cities. They're not in the uproar about that. They're not, you know, uh, uh taking to the streets about that. They you know, they fuss, they cry a little bit, you know, here and there, go on a rant. Okay, but you let social media be shut down. Okay? You let the internet be shut down, man, for half a day. Okay? You let it be shut down three days, man. It's it's gonna it'll be it'll be anarchy, man. Okay, because these people, hey, they need they fix of this man's technology, man. And this is what he wants them. He wants to have the leverage. Okay? But this 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 man's technology is 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 is, is sorcery, man. Okay, he says saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, and that the image of the of the beast should both speak and cause and cause that um, it caused that as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. And see, he does this with, you know, the different leaders of the world. You know, when you look at, you know, certain leaders that will try to, you know, um, not do business in the dollar, you know, which for the longest that was, you know, a way that these nations would pretty much be married to the beast. Okay, it was through that dollar. They would be in bed with their whore through that dollar. And you would try to reject, you know, that dollar, hey, was a problem. <laughs> All right, he was going to send, okay, hey, the, the, them healers at you, man. Okay? And you go into this word miracles, because I was looking up words, you know. <laughs> it's a hell of a light breakdown, no? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stop playing with myself, man. God. You know? It could have been three hours, man. We could could have went crazy with it, but you know, spirit do what it do. So you go into this word, all right? Um, for Strong's G, forty-five ninety-two, Samayan, Samayan. Samayan, all right. And it goes to a sign and uh, a mark, a token. It said that by which a person or thing is distinguished from others and is known. All right. Now, when you read here, it says a sign, a prodigy, a portent, i.e. unusual occurrence transcending the common course of nature, man. And that's what this man's technology is aimed at doing is transcending. You know, you can go to the word meta. I want to say it goes into transcending. OK, and this man wants to transcend the common course of nature. All right, do 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 pseudo miracles, man. Okay, and he's been allowed, you know, access on the left hand side to pull off, all right, particular things. Okay, I want to see. Uh... No, that's not it. Let's see if I we can pull it up again. <laughs> So what can you show us that as a demonstration yeah. of what you can now do? Here we go. This is uh, the Link app. This is how I control everything. Um, this is the app that they've uploaded um, onto my computer that lets me control the cursor. Um, this is my devotional that I've been reading um, all the time, uh, every day. And then this is me playing chess. Uh, so wait a minute. Are... You're moving the cursor. You're moving the cursor, Nolan, just by thinking about where you want it to go, or is it your eyes? Uh, no, it's it's just me thinking about wherever I want it to go. Oh, man. So yeah, you're not so, even tracing it with your eyes. You're just looking at it. Nope, I can move it, and I can move the cursor around, whatever I would like to do. Um, I don't have to be staring at it at all. Uh, I mean, it's, it's amazing. There's not even words to describe. Yeah, there's not even words to describe how amazing this tech is. All right, which gives... Go back to the definition. It says a sign, a prodigy, a portent, i.e. an unusual occurrence transcending the common course of nature. 
okay and he's gonna sell his you know um his new his new order of society all right he's gonna sell it you know as transcending the laws okay and then the, the restraints of the most high you know that's been his that's always been his sale pitch going back to the garden you shall not surely die as if he had something better like you know what, what he presented to eve was her transcending you know her order you know that was given to her from the beginning okay and he's going to present that to the world as if look you know worship me and you can transcend beyond okay the the limitations given to you by the most high okay and you don't have to stick to those tyrannical you know archaic strict laws okay worship me <laughs> okay and this is what he's going to bring to the earth this is what he's going to present to the earth man okay so going back into it all right, and what we just seen it says, and deceive it them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, and and those men are bought in, those people are bought in. Okay, people are bought into this man. Okay, it says, um, which he had the power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by the sword and did live, man. Is and, and as these people okay uh, uh, uh you know they all right um they operate under these enchantments you know they're living okay as 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 pagan romans okay and, and they're pretty much all right uh making an image unto the beast man okay they're playing their part in participating you know in the beast system <laughs> you know as they're, they're moving and, and living and thinking like pagan Rome. Okay. Verse 15 it says. And he had power to give life. Unto the image of the beast. Okay. And you go back. You know to the elites. You know this behind the scenes. Financing everything. Okay. Because they, it's them. You know they pretty much are the mastermind. Of this beast system. Okay. The Lord raised the elites up. Okay, to, to be the masterminds of this system, man. Okay, they, 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 you know, because these nations are indebted to what these central banks, which are all right, ran by Amalek. Okay, small hat. All right, it said that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. As I say, that started, you know, he would do that with certain leaders, but now. It's going to trickle down to a everyday citizen, man. It's not down with the beast. And that's why you have in Revelation, you know, those that were martyred for the testimony of Yahweh Shai. That was beheaded. Okay, because it's going to get to the point to where, you know, it's not just going to be, you know, these leaders of nations that's going to be under the, the, the threat of death, you know, for not going along with this system. It's going to be the average citizen. Okay, that's what is that's what it's trickling down to. Okay, it says to receive a mark. Uh, matter of fact, yep, and it said verse 16. Now, this is the point, you know, we read all that to get to this man, and he calls he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karatma, okay, in their right hand or in their foreheads, okay. So we're seeing this technology play out right before us, man. All right. And then no man might buy or sell, save he that had the 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 um the karagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name. OK, so we're coming to the time where we're going to have to take a strong stance against this, man. This is why we have to be built up in your house. Shot. Gimmicks ain't going to get you past this phase of the game. See, you can be cute and then look like a neighborhood hero, community hero now, but it's going to come a time, all right, when, hey, the, 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 the devil is going to require, all right, a participation, okay? In order to participate in this society, and brothers also go into this, you know, being killed as well, all right, or being cut off, 
Okay? We're being cut off. All right? From this society. Because if you're not able to buy and sell, okay, well, that's how we operate. Okay? Mm-mm. Let's see. So you go into this word. Yep, so you go into the word apple in the Greek. Okay, and you go into, let's say, go definition C. It says, of any kind of separation of one thing from another by which the union or fellowship of two is destroyed. Okay, so we know that hey, we're going to be separated for rejecting, okay, this Karagma, man, to participate in this beast society that this man has established in the earth. Okay? So, at the end of the day, we we good. Because guess what? The, the, you know, Shah spoke about these things, and they try to, you know, we're going to be good, man. You gonna, it's going to be some uncomforts. Okay? But we're going to be good. We're not subjugated. See, when we See, that's why we, we really have to have a vision. Like Elder Apostle Gabar said, we got to be visionaries in this thing, man. Okay? Now, um, I had it earlier. Let me see. Okay, I want to get another word to show you. All right, Yahweh Shai was speaking of these things, man. You know, and they try to make it seem as if Yahweh Shai, you know, didn't speak about Esau, man. But he said he's seen Satan. Fall from heaven like lightning. Okay. Going into Esau falling from his rulership quickly. Okay. He said the thief coming but to steal, kill, and destroy. But I'm come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. St. John 10 and 10. So Yahweh Shah spoke against this man. He spoke of this man. Okay. You think Yahweh Shah shine away from, from goddamn Esau from an Edomite man? Okay, but see, if you're not in the spirit, you don't see these things. Just because he didn't say the word Esau, <laughs> all right, with well, you know, in the Gospels, okay, he spoke of this man, all right, he spoke of these times. Matthew 24 and 24 said, For there shall arise false anointings and false prophets. And see, Esau was the biggest false anointed and false prophet, okay, you got these little minions that have sold out under him. And then you have those men that are just bugged out, you know, operating, you know, for the spiritual demons, Satan. They just out here, you know, spreading madness. They're sincerely lost. Okay. But then you have Esau. He's the biggest false prophet, false anointed that there is because he's going to present this device as a, a, a salvation. He's going to present that device in the midst of chaos as salvation, man. Like, hey, like he's anointed to deliver humanity out of uh, uh, the chaos, man. Okay, it says, and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible that they shall deceive the very elect. So, when you go to this word sign... Okay... What you see, it's the same word, okay? Simeon. Strong's G, 4592, Semion. 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 Okay, which goes into what, man? Same thing, all right? A sign of prize reported, unusual occurrence, transcending the coming course of nature. So, Yahweh Shai, okay, he was speaking. <laughs> you got to think about John the Revelator was his guy. <laughs> okay, the, the 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 they had it was a lot of conversations and things that that wasn't recorded, man. Okay, and which we don't dig into these things, but you know we will scrapulate certain points. Okay, we don't just bug ourselves out trying to figure out every you know nook and cranny, but we go into you know the spirit of have us to scrapulate things, man. You know we're not doing nothing of ourselves. Okay. But Yahweh Shah was speaking of these times. Okay, there's going to be some things going on that if it was possible, 
it could deceive the elect, man, but the elect, all right, all right are, going, are going to be protected, man. First, our mind is going to be protected, okay, going to wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our time, understanding these things, man, okay? Let's go here. We end it here, Revelation 3 and 10, and it says, and Revelation 3 and 10 says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the outward temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell on the earth. And see, we in the time where the devil is finna try everyone with this karagma. Okay? He's finna, he's finna, he's finna, um, pretty much, if you are a slave to the flesh, he's gonna use that as leverage, man. Okay, this is why this grace period has been about us overcoming the flesh. And we overcome the flesh by keeping this word, applying this word. This word is full of discipline and wisdom on how to operate in this time, man. So we won't be moving and dominated by the flesh when this man <laughs> Esau is about to cut the flesh off. Okay, the access, you know, to flesh is going to be cut off. Okay, and then and, 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 and get back. To that flesh okay you're gonna have to take the karama you see but you go into this word um i want to go keep you know because the lord said he was gonna keep us in these times because we're doing what's required of us now okay so you go into the word in the greek strong's g 5083 tereo tereo, tereo. all right it said to attend to carefully to take care of, man. That's how we know. We, we, we Esau going to make threats about us not being able to buy and sell. But the scriptures say we're going to eat. Okay? We're going to drink. We're going to be merry and have abundance. Okay? We're going to laugh at famine. We're going to be at league with the beast and the stones of the field. So, uh, uh, that sounds like someone that's being attended to carefully in the midst of chaos, man. All right, it says metaphorically to keep one in the state in which he is. And see, we finna see a lot of people bug out, man. A lot of these people on these coming board talking all this shit, cheerleading for uh, 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 these wicked niggas, man. <laughs> okay, they finna bug out. See, these people, they don't know what they're a part of, man. The fact, you can tell by someone's talking points, they have no clue of the severity of what they're a part of, man. And they finna bug out. You know, but the Lord is gonna keep Yahweh Shah is gonna keep the elect intact in these times, man. A sound mind is gonna be extremely valuable in the times to come. Okay? It says to keep one in the state in which he is, okay, to reserve. Okay, to reserve, man. So Yahweh Shah is gonna keep us, man. Okay? Verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, which is a faith in that victory, man. Okay? Even the, 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 the faith to be willing to take the death and understand there's a victory in that if we're the elect, man. All right? That no man take thy crown. And the number one man that's gunning for that crown is Esau Edom. You know, he's going to come out with all stops, okay, to break the faith of the elect. But it's not going to work, okay? So that's the point. You know, Lord will, you know, you brothers. All right, and you sisters will edify once again and give all praise and glory to Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem And double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS. Who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations, and hopefully, shalom.